Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing. And today we're gonna to be talking about flukes, how you can rig them, how to fish them, and most importantly, how to catch fish with a fluke. Now, if you've never seen a fluke before, well, this is a Zoom Super Fluke. This has the uh, split tail here. Uh, this is a five inch version. They have smaller, larger versions. They have multiple different categories as far as brands and links and colors and all sorts of types of goods to talk about. But the fluke is typically referred to as the soft jerk bait. Now, why is it referred to as a soft jerk bait? Well, obviously it's soft. And when it's rigged weightless, it mimics a typical hard jerk bait's action. So it darts through the water kind of erratically. If you get my drift. Now, Multiple ways to fish this guy. First, we're not gonna talk about the jerk bait type way. We're gonna talk about the drop shot version. Obviously, it's a great drop shot option, mostly because of its size and length. So this is a Shimmer Shad uh, from 10,000 Fish. Uh, it is actually one of the baits I am considering using on my jerk bait options today, my soft jerk bait. But for now, I've been fishing with this guy on the drop shot and he should work really, really well. Uh, I've actually caught a few fish on him already. And this guy's all twisted up. My line wants to be twisted. Get that untwisted a little bit. But option number one, you can easily see, uh, what did I do with it? Oh, you can easily see that, hey, these two will match up perfectly. I mean, whether it's actually called a fluke or just has a fluke-like body. Now moving on to how you should uh, rig a weightless fluke, I wanna talk about how you should line up the hooks. Depending on the type of hook you use, there's actually really not too many wrong type of hooks, but you can use a round bend offset worm hook, you can use a hybrid hook like I'm using here, or an extra wide gap hook. All of them are excellent options to use with the fluke. But first, I wanna show you guys, no matter what hook you're using, how you should help yourself and line this up. So for this hook, this is a hybrid hook. You want to line up the end of your hook, where the eye is, with the head somewhere, and then see where it's gonna fall on the body to rig it weedless. That's kind of the point of fishing a fluke, is that it is weedless. So you wanna see kind of the angle you need to come through the head here. You can see this one, I can come through pretty straight and still have this weedless option. It is a, a hybrid hook, so it should work very, very well in this form. This is an actually a two, I think it's a two-aught, it might be a three-aught hook, I can't quite remember. But two to three-aught hooks on a five-inch flute will work excellent. Let's go ahead and start rigging this guy. Just like any other Texas rig, you're just gonna come through the head of the bait about as far as your offset eye is. So we're gonna come through the head. In this case, I'm gonna call it 7 16 And it's really important that you stay centered the entire time rigging this. If, if your hook comes off centered uh, off the bait, it's gonna not perform correctly. We're gonna give it a half twist as we pull through the, the head here. Okay, so there we go. We have our head properly rigged up and now we just need to get this guy through the body. And as you can see, it's simple as normal. You just kind of pinch where the hook's gonna go through and use your thumbnail as a guide and stab that guy right through the middle and you're gonna have a perfectly rigged fluke. So lastly, you just wanna make it Texas rigged. You wanna text pose it a little bit and pinch and pull back down. And there you go, a perfectly weedless fluke and it's ready to go weightless. Now there's another version of this bait. I'm gonna do a twist here. There is another version of this weight bait. If you need a little faster of a fall, you can put a 1 8 ounce weight here, uh, unpegged, and it's gonna fall down faster than the fluke. And it's gonna be similar to the drop shot, 
and it's going to be fished off the bottom while the weight's down here. And as you jerk it, it's still going to have some jerk action, just a little bit less, a little bit dampered by the weight, but it's still going to jerk and dirt through the water. Uh, and you're going to have a faster fall. Really handy if you're fishing deeper water or if you're fishing non-vegetation. If you're fishing vegetation, you want to stay weightless. I do want to talk about another weighted option. If you're fishing some deeper submerged grass, you can have weighted hooks. You can use these. This is actually a little bit too small of a hook. I think this is probably a two-aught hook. Uh, but you need probably a three, three or four-aught hook for this version. This is a, a weighted swim bait hook. You simply use this twist lock on the top, twist it into the head of the bait. I'll let you guys get a real close look at this. There you go. You just twist the twist lock there into the head and then you do the text pose just like you normally would. But you have a weedless weighted hook and their fall is gonna be a little bit faster. So if you're trying to target a little deeper area, some, some submerged grass that may be 10, 15 feet deep, especially in those clear water lakes. Excellent option there to help you get to the bottom just a little bit faster. Hey, before we head out to the water, I wanna ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. We do all sorts of fishing videos, simple how-tos, how to fish certain rigs, introduction of new type of rigs. We're even sponsored by Catchco now. So we're obviously heading in the right direction. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll be well on your way to catching more fish. Now I'll see you out there on the water. Alrighty guys, so we're out here with our fluke, as you guys can see here. The fluke we just rigged up a minute ago. Due to the uh, awesome power of YouTube, y'all didn't have to deal with the hour and 15 minute drive to get here. So quickly, I just want to kind of show you guys what this guy looks like in the water. Let's get this angled down. And he just floats down and then jerk. jerk. So almost, I mean, it's a lot like fishing a weightless Cinco. And what I'm doing to start off with is I'm going to work down this grass and see what we got around the grass. I'll let it sink. I already see a little fish on the edge there. And we're going to fish it like a little jerk bait and not have to worry about it getting in the weeds. I'm just going to use a live scope to make sure I stay not on top of the, the weeds, the grass line here. And uh, I know the weather looks kind of scary, but I promise you it's really not that scary. I'm gonna fish all the way up next to the edge. I'm gonna fish over all sorts of, all sorts of little areas around grass, over submerged grass next to this. I'm not sure exactly what kind of grass that is. Maybe you guys know. Let me know in the comments below if you know what kind of grass uh, I have right here in front of me. Got him. He didn't mess around. There. There we go. There we go. Took me 26 minutes to get this bite or to get this fish. Ooh. Healthy chunk. He wanted the fluke. Was it a fluke that he wanted the fluke? I don't think so. I've had two bites other than that. So not gonna make 14. So we're not gonna keep him very long. So he'll say adios. So. What I did, I don't know, maybe it was too soon to really start changing things, but I started uh, twitching it much softer, much more like a weightless Cinco, and that started working. 
At first, I was doing some, doing some pretty hard twitches like you would a jerk bait. What are you doing, trolling motor? Sorry about that. Mr. Trolling motor was uh, not doing his job too good. But I slowed my cadence down, did some softer twitches, and that's really what triggered him to bite. Uh, apparently, they're going to be on a softer bite today. Just real soft. And that's what triggered the bite. So we're going to continue doing that. So make it really look like it's dying today. Apparently they want it to look like it's almost dead. Got another one. This guy's smaller than the first. Oh, come here. He did the same thing. So, <laughs> as you can tell, I kind of figured out my, my cadence here. This guy looks malnourished. <laughs> Post-spawn fish, really needs to get some food here. All right, buddy, we'll let you go. No wonder you were going after that. Well, there's two on the old fluke. So, so far the fluke is not a flute. A fluke's not a fluke. He did the same thing. He just picked it up and started walking with it. Like fish can walk, but to that white one or this baby bass, which is much smaller, but I don't know. Let's try this baby bass. Maybe it's the ticket. Maybe it is. It's definitely got a little green tint to it. A little bit smaller. Baby bass color. Uh, got him. There we go. There we go. No fluke doing some work. He looks pretty decent. I don't know if he'll make our 14 though. But we'll check him out. Oh, he makes 15, so heck yeah. Look at this guy. He probably don't have much weight on him, but on a tough fishing day, the fluke is uh, turning to be promising. All right guys, so uh, last fish on the fluke for the day. I started off with this white one here, uh, this white five inch zoom super fluke. I went and moved on. I moved on to a little smaller one, a little different color. And this guy, well, he hit it pretty much four or five cast in. And uh, just to goes to show you, the fluke is a super effective way to catch fish over submerged grass, near grass. It's an awesome little bait. I suggest you give it a shot and give it a try because, well, it may just help you out and catch a few extra bass that day. I hope you guys learned a little bit about the fishing the fluke today, how to rig it and all that good stuff, how to catch fish on it. But it's about time for me to go, and I just want to wish you guys farewell. And just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.